Hey, what is going on guys? It's Apollo1 and today we're going to be taking a look at all the gold guns in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So, if you guys didn't know, gold guns in Advanced Warfare aren't the hardest to get. In past Call of Duty's gold camo was the hardest and best camo in the game. This year we have diamond and royalty above gold and they make gold, in my opinion, a little bit too easy to get. It's actually very simple. You just have to get, uh, with the assault rifles, you have to get 50 kills without any attachments. Some of the weapons require 50 kills to 100 kills without using perks. And just generally, they're very easy to get. They're not the hardest. Um, I think that they should have made them just a little bit harder. Maybe maybe you had to get like 100 headshots or 150 headshots or just something. I think it's a little bit too common. And gold camo is honestly easier to get than some of the kind of crappy camos. So I think they could have done a little bit more with the gold camos. I don't think they should be as easy as they are in Advanced Warfare to get. But it is what it is. And that's just how it goes. But... You are going to be seeing the gold camo on every gun in Advanced Warfare except the launchers because they're not really guns uh, and they are kind of hard to get. You have to get like 10 kills or you have to you have to kill like 10 assault drones or something like that, something weird, but they're not really guns though so you are seeing the gold camos on every gun and right now you're seeing the SMGs. Some of these are on next gen which is the Xbox One and the PS4. Some of them are on the 360 and the PlayStation 3. Um, as you'll be able to tell by the graphics and uh, yeah, that's just how it is, but um, the graphics on next gen is ridiculous Oh my god, it looks so nice if you guys didn't know sledgehammer um, Actually created the game for next gen while the the version the advanced warfare version on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 was ported by a different company which is not exactly the best it wasn't directly made from sledgehammer and not you know you're not getting the full experience of advanced warfare playing on current gen i'm actually still on current gen so i haven't played it on next gen but i know from just asking people and telling and talking to people that the experience on next gen is 10 times better uh, i don't know if you guys are experiencing the same thing i know a lot of my friends are uh we're experiencing a lot of frame rate lag and stuff like that on current gen on the 360 which kind of sucks it's really 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 frustrating um but i guess it's just the way it goes because of the port it's not it's not the full experience that you are getting from the sledgehammer build on next gen i'm probably going to get a playstation 4 xbox one at some point i'm not exactly sure as of now but let me know in the comment section below guys if you have next gen is it really that much better uh, and just let me know your thoughts on it. But yeah, how many guns also do you guys have gold in Advanced Warfare? That's another thing. I know that when I first got Advanced Warfare, the first thing I did was went for gold camos on my assault rifles. Because it still does look really nice. It really does. I like it. It looks good. I just wish it was a little more difficult, a little more rewarding to get. Uh, but like I said, that's just the way it goes. Um, but yeah, let me know how many gold camos you guys have in Advanced Warfare as of now. We're taking a look at the LMGs now. Um, and recovery, real quick. I do want to talk about recovery. I know I'm kind of jumping around here. I don't really have a topic. You're just kind of seeing the gold camos on the weapons. Uh, but I want to talk about recovery. Recovery is an insane map. I wish they did maps like this in the past and previous Call of Duties because it was it's so smart. Uh, the way they did recovery is it, it's one map and then it turns into another map later on because you're recovering required to go to the other side of the map and then the kind of the gate shut and you can't go back to the first side of the map and I think that's really cool because you kind of get to play on two different maps in the same game I really liked it it's honestly one of my favorite maps in the game as of now uh, but anyways guys hopefully you did enjoy this video once again I know I skipped around a lot talked about random stuff but I didn't really have a topic but if you guys are new to Carnage Clan make sure to hit that subscribe button we are going to be posting insane DNA gameplays uh, vicious metal gameplays tips and tricks on how to do better in multiplayer, class setups, all that kind of good stuff right here on Carnage. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new. If you guys wouldn't mind dropping a like, that would be awesome. If not, that's completely fine. Hopefully you're having a great day, and I'll see you guys later.